It has been the worst exam period of my life. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a finals exam vlog. This vlog is gonna be chaotic, so sit back, grab a snack, because we got exams to take, and I'm gonna take you along my journey. But first, before we get into this video, I did wanna say a big thank you to the sponsor, which is Anna Luisa. Anna Luisa always will hold a special place in my heart because they were the first sponsor on my channel, like, almost two years ago. So I just love Anna Luisa, love their pieces, think they are a great brand. Anna Luisa offers a wide range of jewelry. They offer very dainty pieces, which were a lot of the pieces I've shown in the past. They also offer some statement pieces, which we are going to get into in a second, but they are all so classy and so high quality and they're very affordable. I love all my Anna Luisa pieces. I still wear them. You've seen them in vlogs throughout the years. And honestly, I just kind of swear by them. I love gold jewelry and most of the jewelry on Anna Luisa's website is gold. So for my golden gals out there, this is the perfect place for you. So in honor of the holiday season, I'm going to show you the pieces that I got this time because Anna Luisa is a great little gift. If you don't know what to get somebody, get them a little piece of jewelry. They'll love it. People don't like buying jewelry for themselves. So I'm going to show you the pieces that I got this time. I am so excited. These are probably my favorites to be honest. So this is the first ring. This is the Amara black ring. I think this might be my favorite. This ring is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I have been loving chunkier rings lately. I want my rings to make a statement. I think it looks really pretty when you have a little nice little manicure. This next one is the Michelle Signet ring and I love this one. I have been recently turning kind of into a green girly. Green was never a color that I loved and I saw this ring on the website and it was big, made a statement. I needed it on my finger ASAP. Look how freaking gorgeous. It has like the gradient green detailing in it, which I think adds a little fun flavor. That's the best part about Ana Luisa rings to me. I always opt for their rings just because I find that they're very stackable. Like I have rings that I wear on my index fingers. Like I like to really stack them up. These have definitely been in the rotation for me for the past like week or so. And I think they're gonna continue to be because I think they are so, so cute. I have wanted a ladder necklace for so long. I got the letter necklace in the letter M, if anybody can guess what it stands for. It has very special, significant meaning. I love this. I think it's so dainty, so pretty. I've wanted one forever, and when I saw it on the website, I just had to have it. And the final piece is this Aura bracelet. So I'm actually not gonna show this one tried on because it's a little too small on me. They included extra links so I can add them in so it'll fit perfectly, but it is gorgeous. I cannot wait to be able to wear this. Look how pretty it is. I think it'd look really cute stacked with my Apple Watch. So if you need holiday gift ideas or honestly just have any special occasion where you wanna treat yourself or somebody else, feel free to check out Ana Luisa. They are running incredible sales this holiday season. I will have a link in the description box and just make sure to pick yourself up something because it is really like high quality jewelry and I truly do love them. Check out the crazy sales in the description box below. And while you do that, I'm gonna go study bankruptcy because we got a final exam tomorrow. Let's get into the vlog. Uh, guys, it has been a crazy, crazy past few days. I'm gonna give you a brief little catch up and then we are gonna head to study because I am just so tired. My body is exhausted. It is like begging for a break and yeah. So we are into the swing of finals right now. I have four finals this semester. I have taken one of them, which means I am 25% done which is really disheartening when I think about it because I'm already so tired. But I took evidence on Monday, that was a big one. That one took a lot of studying time and honestly, I feel relatively good about it. I try not to think about the exam after I complete it just because I find that it never does me any good and honestly, it's kind of advice that I give to everyone because you can't change anything and thinking about the issues afterwards isn't gonna do anything for you. It's not gonna serve you in any way. But had that exam and then today is Thursday. I've been studying for bankruptcy since Tuesday. Bankruptcy is not a class I pay Paid close attention to throughout the semester. It's just not. I'd go to class and like it'd be in one ear out the other. I really didn't like sit down and apply myself to the classes. So over the past few weeks, Nathan and I collectively, Nathan more so than me because I was working on evidence, have created a, a like a hundred page transcript of the class. And when I say this is a transcript of the class, everything our professor has said is down in this doc, which is not really helpful because the exam closed book. But basically I went back and watched probably a third of the class via lectures. So that plus I've had some previous bankruptcy knowledge because I took commercial transactions and we did a lot of bankruptcy in there. And honestly, 
bankruptcy is just a subject that clicks with me it's all very intuitive it's all very code based and they all all the provisions just have always clicked for me so i am just not that worried about it and you'll have classes like that in law school like if you're a 1l for me con law not intuitive at all very hard it just didn't click with me civ pro just made sense everything made sense i understood it and some classes are just going to come naturally easier to you than others so because of that bankruptcy has kind of not i haven't been studying as hard I've still been studying a lot like last night i was up until 12 re-watching lectures and then this morning i woke up at five and rewatched two lectures so i've been studying a lot but today is the final day where we kind of tie up the loose ends and we're going to take the exam tomorrow it is a three hour multiple choice exam which is my favorite kind of exam I hate essays what can i say today i think the plan is to go into campus it's around nine right now and through lunch we are just going to go over chapter 11 stuff because that's the last like quarter of the class and we haven't reviewed that yet we just finished watching all the classes for that section of the course so from nine to like lunch we're just going to go through that make sure it all makes sense i think based on the work i've done it shouldn't be too bad then take a break grab lunch then i think we are going to basically just drill problems we bought like mini whiteboards so we can just like ask each other like what provision is the discharge injunction like what provision is the exemptions like basically just to test each other's memory because that is obviously a big part of the exam because it's closed book um so that's probably what we'll be doing throughout the afternoon and the goal is to give myself a hard cutoff time at 6 p.m which i call the marination period so then hopefully after 6 p.m everything will just kind of marinate in my brain tomorrow morning i'll wake up i'll go to campus a little bit early do some final review take the exam and then take the rest of tomorrow off that is like the ultimate plan hopefully it's a productive day nathan and i have been having some pretty productive days of studying as of late i feel like we've both been on it which has been really nice i'm just finishing getting ready right now let me show you what i have packed for the day first things first i got a new school bag guys this was my christmas present to myself I have been wanting the Marc Jacobs tote bag. I was debating getting it for myself for my birthday present in July, and then I didn't. And I finally got it for myself for Christmas. I got the beige color. I got it off of Nordstrom. I am obsessed with this bag. It's, like, so trendy. And it's so, like, some people probably think it's very gaudy because it literally just says the tote bag. I think it's so cute. It's the perfect size. So, like, in here, I have, like, all my chargers that I'm going to need. I have my pencil pouch. I have this whiteboard. I told you we have, like, mini whiteboards. I have my iPad. I have my laptop. Some sunglasses. My wallet. Like, I have everything I could possibly need in here. I am going to grab a protein bar really quick. This is, like, my random, like... I don't even know. It was supposed to be protein bars, but then somehow like cookies and brownies and Reese's ended up in here. Um, but I'm gonna put one of these in my bag too. Sometimes we've been working through lunch. It really just kind of depends on the day. So if we do, I will have this instead of getting a Rice Krispie treat from school, which is probably a little better for my health. I am three vlogs behind. So who knows when this will be aired. <laughs> I do love that because it, it goes out of order. Yeah, by the time this airs, we will be graduated. <laughs> We are at Starbucks right now. I'm getting an ice. We are we are on our ice sugar cookie latte grinds. You only got a grande? I did. I already had a double shot this morning. So we're about to go to school and start studying. We're waiting for our breakfast right now. This is just so tip. This is like tradition. It is tradition. The Starbucks breakfast. I'm real sorry about the. No, no worries. Thank you. Yeah. Take care, guys. You too. Thanks. Um, I got a turkey bacon, Sammy. I will not take care. Nathan. Actually. Nathan. Oh, okay. There Sorry. goes Nathan again. Look at that. Ooh. The egg is like good looking. Yeah. We are going to do well in this class. Mm -hmm. This is actually the only exam I'm looking forward to. I am. Evidence the night before I had a panic. I did. I had like a little panic where I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Well, there's still time for us to panic today. But no, but I just like feel generally mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. And importantly, we, so, we paid no attention all mm -hmm. year or semester. Mm -hmm. But in the past like two to three weeks, mm -hmm. we have rewatched the entire class. Yep. And have taken diligent notes on it. Mm -hmm. So I actually think it's fresher in our minds than most. Exactly. It's fresher. And it, it like we did it like back to back to back to back. So it like it's coherent. It, yeah, fits we get it. In, it fits in with each other. It's not like you're going to class on Thursday mm -hmm. and then you have to wait until next Wednesday and it just like doesn't all click together. So really, what we're trying to say is we have the upper hand. We have the upper hand. And, and it, if you find yourself not wanting to pay attention re then don't don't rewatch just rewatch the class if they record the class just because some professors don't make their recordings available like just right. like a lot of professors at wash you do but some of them only allow you to have them if you have like a reason mm -hmm. but like if your professor does just rewatch the class so we're gonna go post up at school and i will keep you updated hopefully around 12 we're 
getting done with chapter 11 stuff or like 12 30. I, yeah, I, I think that does probably remember right. <laughs> it looms large, much like our bankruptcy yeah. final. It's like you're, you're stalking your brain. <laughs> <laughs> How did that get here, Nathan? Someone came and just dropped it off. I think How'd you get those Cheetos? Cheetos? That was also dropped off. <laughs> I think they realized we were in distress, which is why they also bought me an unsweet iced tea. <laughs> I had a protein bar, still working on my coffee, and we got a lot more work to go. Things are medium. Medium. They, they could be could be worse could be way better. Okay, everyone. I'm sorry that my heat is on. I'm like perpetually like freezing. Nathan, put that dry mat away. Dude, he's acting weird, guys. I don't know. We've been doing this like we've been doing we've been doing Chapter Eleven bankruptcy for like six months now. No. <laughs> no, we've been studying it since like nine thirty. It's like almost three. We've been like burning. No. Oh, that looks good. I know. I'm making Nathan a snack right now. I just made my own. My ultimate snack is sourdough bread toasted with garlic and herb cream cheese. Where is it from? Sourdough bread. It's from Trader Joe's. It's, it's the best. Nuts. I talked about it in one of my vlogs. I don't know if it'll be up this year. Um, but it might be. In, 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 in which case, you should check out that sourdough bread. Because honestly, who needs a bagel? Nathan, come do a taste test on on cam. We'll turn the camera here. No, just come here and do it. Right. We're fighting today. Yeah, we're in big brawl. <laughs> Take a bite, give us crunch. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Isn't that the best snack ever? Imagine that breakfast with a couple eggs. I mean, I can Who eat, needs a bagel? I could just toast. You literally, brawl. you literally don't need. You literally don't need a bagel. That's so good. But we're gonna finish this hopefully in the next like 45 minutes or so. We only have a couple classes left, and then I think it's gonna be gym. Mm. Yep, we're gonna eat now. Okay, it is 6.05 right now. Guys, I'm in worse spirits than I was. Remember like two hours ago when I was like, I'm not concerned, things aren't bad. I'm now concerned and things are bad. This always happens to me the night before. This happened to me on Sunday with evidence. It happens every time. First things first, I do feel better now that I got my workout in, like just getting moving. I haven't worked out since last Saturday and it's Thursday. And that like, honestly, like four to five days is like, like I don't do that often. Um, so I really just needed a workout. And so I feel mentally a little bit clearer. I have been up since five, so I'm really just tired and I just didn't sleep well last night. Um, I'm taking some of these scalp drops. These are by Miel. I love these. Like once a week, I'll do like a whole like treatment where I leave them in for a couple of hours. Um, but other than that, I just really just put a few drops in and just kind of like brush it out. I'm very stressed because I'm. Just, it's just now hitting me that this is a closed book exam. And honestly, like I just... At this point, I just really need to drill it. Like, I know I know some of the stuff, and I'm hoping because it's multiple choice that helps me a little bit. But, like we were talking about earlier, I do just think it's going to be a little bit of a harder exam, and that's okay. Um, you know, in... In 18 hours, it will be over. Um, and that's really what's keeping me going at this point. Eric, my boyfriend's about to pick me up, and we're about to go get dinner. We're getting Panda Express. Guys, I wanted to talk about this right now because Nathan and I were kind of discussing this earlier because we were just talking about how, like, we haven't been eating our best, like, I haven't been working out, I haven't been sleeping, like, health-wise, I am off my game right now. I'm taking the whey hair oil now, um, and I just put this in my ends. I really like this stuff. And then whenever I'm, like, going out with wet hair because I'm, like, not drying it, I just take this, like, kitsch, like, it's like a towel scrunchie, so it, like, to help your hair dry while it's up. But we were just talking about how, like, it really just sucks being off your game during finals. Like, I just feel, like, so sedentary and, like, I'm going to Pan Express tonight. Like, I'm not, like, cooking as much as normal. And I'm just really, like, not doing the amount of, like, self-care I like to do. And, like, just all that stuff. Like, it's just not, I'm just not doing what I normally do. And honestly, like, I always just come back to this quote that I've said for years. And I've said this on my channel before. It's just, like true balance in your life is learning how to cope with moments of imbalance and like I'm trying to just tell myself and hopefully this helps some of you that like it's okay to be off of your normal schedule during exam. It's okay to not be eating as healthily and it's okay to not be going to the gym and it's okay to you know have to sacrifice things that you normally have as part of your routine. I'm not saying you should do that like I'm not saying you should put your workouts on the back burner like definitely if you have time but like sometimes when you're studying you just like 
you can't take time away. Like today for lunch, I had a protein bar. And like that is not what I like to do. Like I like to come home, I like to make like protein, like chicken and sweet potato. And like I like to have like well-balanced meals. And like I haven't been able to do that because I just like literally haven't had time. And I'm trying my best to not beat myself up because of that. So like I'm having Pan Express for dinner tonight. And honestly, then I'm probably gonna sit on the couch and study until like 10 o'clock and then I'm gonna fall asleep. And honestly, my biggest plans for tomorrow are to go into campus really early, study, take this exam, and from 12 to who knows what time, I'm going to be asleep in my bed because I'm so tired. Finals period, I always forget how exhausting it is. And then afterwards, I'm like, it wasn't that bad, even though it was like terrible. I know I'll make it through, and if you're, if it's your first time, if you're a 1L, if it's, you know, not your first rodeo like me, like, we know, we know it gets better and we know we get through it. Oh, I'm taking this Evian water spray. I just like it. I don't know. I I definitely don't think I needed to buy this, but I'm glad that I have it. It was like five bucks and it's literally just water spray. Like I feel like it just moisturizes my face really well. Stay tuned for an impending mental breakdown. I need to read through the rest of our class transcript just because I don't really understand the stuff about cramming down a plan. Basically, you need a class of impaired accepting creditors to accept the plan um, in order to get a plan confirmed under chapter 11 bankruptcy. And if there's another class that is impaired that rejects the plan, what you do is you have to cram the plan down. Like it's called a cram down plan where you basically have to satisfy all these requirements so that you can cram down against the rejecting creditors. Um, so I'm trying to figure out like the logistics behind that. Like I think I understand it conceptually, but there's a lot of little nuances I want to make sure I don't miss. Also, I have like recently kind of like dove into a very like beige aesthetic i i don't know i've never done this before guys i'm just gonna be honest i've been on tiktok i have felt the desire to make an aesthetic my entire identity um so i am like replacing everything in my bedroom with like white and beige i'm just like fully like making this my personality so i don't have to come up with one of my own um so i'm gonna show you today i got like a new like comforter and it's like an off white like beige i like it because it's got like the little ruffles and it's really cute i need two more throw pillows i'm gonna get like cream colored throw pillows and then like look at these cute little candles basically eric and i have been giving each other like parts of our Christmas gifts early because I just literally can't not do it. Like when I buy somebody a Christmas gift, I have to give it to them immediately. And these were like a little stocking stuffer. I get like requested these. They're like little bubble candles. Aren't they so cute? Um, but they just match the whole vibe. They were from Amazon, I think. Um, this stuff is going to come down because it's too much color for my new vibe. This will stay. I just love. And then this over here, like, look, here's another bubble candle. Aren't they so cute? I'm obsessed. Um, and I just kind of organized all this a couple of nights ago while I was procrastinating. Look at all my perfumes. Oh my gosh. I love it. I don't really like displaying all this right here, like these products and stuff, because they're not very pretty, but I don't really have a choice. But like, look how cute besides my hamper. Good morning, everyone. Happy exam day. It is 535 right now. I'm outside of Nathan's house waiting for him. Um, I woke up at 5. I actually got like a pretty good night of sleep. Um, slept for around like seven and a half hours, which is definitely sufficient. I feel a little bit better this morning than I did last night. Um, I was just really, really, really overwhelmed. So um, today I'm hoping we're going to get Starbucks, go into campus, study for like an hour and a half, review everything. And then we have to run to Target to get calculators because like there's math on this test because it's bankruptcy. Um, and so I need a calculator. Wait, maybe we don't even need our calculator. Maybe we don't even need a calculator if we have the calculator app on our computer. Because I'm like thinking like it's closed book, but obviously I'm still going to have my laptop. I'm wondering if I could use the cal- I'll ask Nathan. He's probably going to want to get like actual calculators to be safe. I can just like kind of see him being like that's kind of Nathan. Um, but I wonder if we could do that because then we don't have to leave and like go to Target and like come back just to get a freaking $2 calculator that I'm never gonna use again because I do not do math. Um, here he is, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Got anything to say to the vlog? I feel like I just went, underwent a factory reset last night. I do too. You know, I like, feel so much better now. Oh, I don't feel better. Uh oh. <laughs> I, feel, I felt really bad last night. Yeah. So now in comparison, I feel better. I was wondering, do you think we need real calculators or do you think we can use like the calculator app on our computer? 
No, because it'll lock us. It's a closed exam. Like, we can't even, like... No. <sighs> I know, it's like super frustrating. I... Part of me is like, I don't know how much we need the calculators. I, I need the calculator. Because even yeah. doing those practice problems last night, I did... I was not able to get that without the calculator. Okay. Is there like a 24-7 store? That's a CVS? I, that's what I'm saying. Like, maybe we should look and see yeah. if we can find something now. Because I'd rather just get Starbucks, go grab those, and then get in by like 6.15. I'm with you. I'm just get going. We have a lot to talk about, but... I'm gonna wait until I get to Nathan's because we are actually doing gingerbread houses tonight. I am actually so excited. I packed up a couple that I've gotten. Okay, so I'm about to go to Nathan's. Let me show you. I actually have to leave right now because um, Eric is picking me up. I need to put my jacket on and my shoes on, but we have a lot to talk about about that exam, guys. Like, things got a little bit dicey there, and I honestly don't think I could talk about it on camera. For one, I wasn't in the emotional place to talk about it until now, because, and it's like seven, so like, that goes to show. It was honestly the worst I've ever felt after a law school exam in my entire life. Like, literally. Like, I'm not even kidding. It was so bad. Um, but we're gonna talk about it together, as we always do, a little debrief. Um, but, however, after I went to the gym, took like a nice long shower, deep cleaned my entire apartment, and finished editing a video. So, I have been pretty productive. I literally have to go right now. We're going to pick up Canes to take over there because this is just a fast food vlog. After the day I had, I just want a three finger combo. That's literally it. So, I have this Target bag with these two little gingerbread houses. I'll show it more when I get there. But, video's exporting. Have my purse, my phone, just gotta grab my keys. I'll see you at Nathan's. Okay, Nathan is influencing me once again. Nathan, will you do a tutorial showing your new purchase? Well, I'm not really good at these tutorials. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the house store in North Carolina? Action. Right. Nathan got a new gadget. Two new gadgets. Two, sorry. So, this is a standing... Watch out, Maple. A, fold, a walking pad, so it's a folding treadmill. Guys. So, you're done. You fold it up, and you just, it has wheels. You just kind of move it wherever you want. Oh. Else, right? But open that up, you know, it has pre-programmed little settings. This didn't, you had to build it, but it didn't take too long to build. Um, this is high it tech. Little, has little cubbies for all my It has a cup. Oh my. Look how cute. You gotta be freaking kidding me with the cubbies. Got my stamps in there. <gasps> Keyboard. Silence. And then, here, we're gonna do, Madison's gonna do a little tryout for them. Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah. I'll give them, I'll give them a special. So, now you see this is, um, a walking pad. So, we're gonna turn it on by clicking the on button. Just middle. middle yeah, middle button's gonna be good. And what we're gonna do, it told me to wait. Hit it again. Run. Okay, <laughs> let it beep three times. This little user error. <laughs> All right. So this is how it works. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a treadmill or walk. Ever heard of it? But what happens <laughs> is it you stay in place, so you don't <laughs> you can walk without actually moving. <laughs> Which is like yeah. really, really newfangled. Um, here, let me show you. But you be able to do your nice little work here. Here, like, and lower okay. it here. Let's, let's lower the desk. Lower it a little bit. Okay. There Pull we off go. The keyboard. There we go, masses. There we go. Let's say I'm writing an email. Okay. Yeah, it's a good email. Email. What's it about? I'm doing a little side step. Uh oh. Oh, oh back to emails. <laughs> Got a misstep, and then I'm reversing it. Just like this. You can get a lot of steps in this way. Well, and you, you have to tie the Apple Watch around your ankle. Yes, yes, I've seen people yeah. do that to track the steps. See, here's the kicker, my ankle's too big for it. Isn't that like, <laughs> I, got that big ankle. I got that big ankle gene. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, like, I'm, mm, I haven't seen it yet. So I was not tempted, because I didn't like see the setup until now. But it's, and truly, if you're doing this for a long time, you just lower it a little bit. I even turn my heater on and it blows hot air on the well, my feet. Yeah, if you get tired, you can kind of do a little slouch walk. Well, so let's say you have a deadline. You got to get on the pad now. Okay. How fast can we get this thing set up? Ready? Set up? Important deadline. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that's gonna kill Nathan, the, the, de the deadline's approaching. It's like our bankruptcy exam today. Now I can start. <laughs> Look at that. That was fast. We have had a very rough exam period yeah. <laughs> compared to normal. It has been, um, I'm looking for the word. Worse. Worse, yeah. Worse, that seems like the word. It has been the worst 
exam period of my life. Um, I have left both exams feeling bad. Not great. No, yeah, I the I, first one. The first one I felt okay. Evidence was yeah. okay. It's a hard class. Yeah. That I'm like, and I felt. In no way do I think I'm in danger. No, I'm not in danger. We're not in the danger zone. Bankruptcy. I think we either <laughs> got a 4.3 or a 2.5. <laughs> Nathan and I left, and, and there's no way. Like Nathan and I left bankruptcy, and it was just. Was, I couldn't believe what just happened to us. Like even after, right when I opened the test, you know when you open the test and you read question number one and you're like, oh no. And then you're like, okay, I'm sure I'll pick it up on question number two. This is a curveball, yeah. You well, flipped it over two and you're like, oh, it builds off of number one, that's funny. And then you kick to question number three and it's like, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's like eight times harder. It's just, it, it, there's something about that exam. I like. Truly, I studied for that class, I think, harder than I've ever studied before. Yeah. Truly. Yeah. And, and it was, it was really hard. It was so hard. We both left feeling terrible. Mm -hmm. Like, you sh I could not have logged afterwards. Like, it was not, like, we usually, mm -hmm. you know, we're cracking jokes on the way out of school. It's not, sometimes there's that kind of, like, knowing glance where we just, like, you know, look. Yeah. We, I always wait to see what Madison's face looks like after the exam. I'll look at her. And it, there's always... There's always an indication. Because like, sometimes it'll be like, you know, like, yeah, or something. Like, <laughs> that was like, like that was, it was three hours of pain. So that was last Friday. And honestly, like, it took me a, a good two days to kind of just recover from that. And I'm still thinking about it. Yeah. Like, I'm still, like, thinking, like, oh, no, yeah, I can't. I got toasted. I know. But, but we have two left, so we can't let it get in our heads too much. Well, and you know what the, the real scam is? Mm -hmm. That's the exam we were kind of banking on to do really well on because the last two classes, the ones we have upcoming this week. We haven't studied for. We hadn't studied for. Yeah. Zero. So it's like evidence <laughs> and bankruptcy were supposed to be our number one and number two grades wise just because that's how much time we were putting to and them. the worst part is they still might be. <laughs> that's the bad part. So we have um, investment banking tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday, I had a small breakdown. Today, I had a last night. Yeah, you. We both had our breakdowns at different points. Yesterday, mine was like in the morning, like 9 a.m. I was like, Nathan, I gotta go home and like figure this out by myself. Lock myself in, in, in my living room and figured it out. I don't even know. And then Nathan had his breakdown last night. He called me and he, he did not sound well. No, um, Ill. <laughs> so, so we're gonna go in and we have a full day of studying today. Um, I, I feel well rested. Like I feel slept, well I rested. slept a good amount, so that's good. Um, I feel like maybe we could get, we can make some magic happen today. Yeah. We're boy, gonna, we need to. Boy, we need to make some magic happen. <sighs> hey, but this, there, we are not without precedent. Right. Like, complex civil litigation, we knew nothing. And I'm not saying that turned out. It, it turned out fine for me. I, that class sets the stage for like. Well, what we can do and, and UCC it's like, and UCC like trademarks 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 was like one of my best grades and like what do we yeah. do for that and you Nothing. did really well at UCC too it's yeah. like all these classes commercial law like all of them we have had panics the day before we have not known the day before and we figure it out and we sit there and honestly I think compared to those situations we are in a better situation today I will also be vlogging today on my TikTok. Um, so if you want to see that, that's a lot more current and real time than these vlogs are because these vlogs are honestly, they're a lot to edit and I edited for three hours last night and I still didn't Did finish really? one. Yes. I edited like, yeah, I took a, that. what? Sorry, one second. Uh, Y'all, it's the Tasty Cake Mobile. <laughs> I don't know. You, she got, I, was, I was she focused got. on the road but I really for a second thought we were going to go back into that car. You, like, you, you focused on the Tasty Cake. I was focused I get on it. the Tasty Cake. Hey, Madison, catch up to it and then run it off the road. Okay. All right. We're gonna shift it into. We're gonna put it in sport mode. We're, we're, they're we're, put it in sport mode. We're in sport mode. We are about to take this tasty cake truck for all it's worth. For all it's worth. Thank you for filling that one in. I wonder. I wonder which ones they have inside. Maybe we could ask before we. Yeah, before we run it off the road. I'll say, is this actually a little Debbie truck? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, Honestly, we'll tell them to roll down their window. I I don't even know if they had a tasty cake. I what? 
Uh -huh. I'm sure they have a tasty cake. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had a tasty cake is what I meant. That's the other oh, thing. I don't know if I have. The more either. finals start to go, the more I lose my like faculties. And this is us with like, you know, 10 hours of sleep. I know, like I can't think. Yeah. I can't, like it's just like A to, getting from A to B <laughs> is like really, really difficult. And, like, it don't even get me started on A to C. I know, it's like <laughs> so hard. So that's like kind of where we're at guys. It's really not good. Um, but you know, uh. We've done this before. In four days, we will be about to start our last exam. Literally, it will be over. It will be over. And that honestly is kind of the the saving grace, is yeah. that it does end. Finals period is terrible. It is always horrible. And we do, we, to some degree, we do it to ourselves. We, to some degree, it's unavoidable. But it's yeah. like, you know, we, we did make the schedule. This was a concoction. And we'll do it again next year. I know. I don't know why. But we um we are sick, sick little people. We're gonna get some coffee. We're gonna get some coffee. We're that always, always makes me feel better. There's always sitting in this line for 30 minutes. Yeah, so we don't have to do anything. <gasps> the line looks short. And then I think we're gonna go to campus and we're just gonna go through the class. Class by class, and we're gonna go until we're done. We're starting at day one and ending at day finished. Yeah. And then we're going in there tomorrow <laughs> with nothing but a hope and a dream. With nothing but a hope and a dream a and, leap a, and a prayer. And a really good outline, I will say. My outline for this class is like looking it's looking shapely, even though it's only about halfway done. I don't know. I don't know. It's looking me. good. <laughs> Great. Shapely. Good morning. How can I help you? Hi. Can I get two venti iced sugar cookie almond milk lattes? And can I just get three pumps of the sugar cookie in those with sure. extra ice? Ham and Swiss Prasad. So I know. I don't... What? Do you want less of? Uh, less sugar cookie syrup. So three pumps only of the sugar cookie. And right, then... but if you want extra ice. <laughs> you want less of drink? <laughs> less drink? <laughs> I've been asked that question for a while. I kind of froze up. I'm like, what? Less. And I'm starting to bargain. I said, maybe less espresso. No. Less sugar. <laughs> less. Guys, this is where we're at right now. <laughs> and I'm laughing, so they're totally going to just dump our drinks on the floor. I know. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, here it is. Yep. We Honestly, will. that question probably made a lot of sense. It did it. To the viewers. <laughs> it did it. Nathan and I are sitting and looking at this bankruptcy practice problem the night before the exam, and I got it wrong, and I was sitting there for like 30 minutes, like, why did I get this wrong? <laughs> and I call Nathan, and Nathan's like, oh, the answer is obviously, and then he says the right answer. And I'm like, oh, okay, so he got it right, and then he looks at it, and he's like, you know what, no. No, he's that's like, wrong. He's like, no, that's, 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 like, that's wrong. wrong. And we're looking at this one problem for like a long time, and I think the professor had the wrong answer in the key. I think he did too. But you picked the wrong answer. I did. And got it right. But that, see, that's what I'm kind of hoping happened on this good old exam. <laughs> okay, everyone. Popping in here to end the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Final season is actually over when I am when I am posting this. So um, I survived and I made it through. Barely. This has been a very rough final season. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this vlog. This one has watched me edit it. Excellent vlog. What was your favorite part of the vlog? I like the part where you guys didn't understand that Starbucks worker, like, <laughs> with a really simple question. Like, what do you want less of? Honestly, looking back on it, I still don't really understand what you meant, but it probably did make a lot of sense, and my brain is still recovering. So, um, yes, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to check out Anna Luisa. Link at the top of the description box if you want some jewelry. As you can see, I haven't left the couch all day today, and I'm still, I'm still sporting the rings, everyone. So go get yourself some holiday pieces. I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye, guys.